Hi, it's Jesse from Bold Grid, and I'm here today to try and help out one of our users. Um, Neil is working on um, his website, um, and he says, I need to be able to easily lay out and combine an image, a large text block, a list, a chart, and a combo, combo box that has dates, times, cost, and sign up procedures for a class. Um, so Neil's real question is like, how to design a custom block? Um, so Neil, there's a couple ways that I usually do this. Um, most often, I will actually start um, here in the block library, and I will find something that, if it doesn't fit my needs exactly, uh, at least looks a little bit closer to what I need. Um, so from what you've described, a class schedule with information and things like that, I would look in the schedule type um, and scroll through here. And so these don't, none of these blocks contain all of the stuff that you mentioned that you need, but we can work with it. It's a starting spot. So I will grab, for example, um, something like this one where it will have a heading and a couple of different options and things like that. So we can go ahead and add that block and check it out. So we have here um, where we could put our uh, time, date, um, you can even do something like this if you needed to add pricing for a specific one. Um, you can clone a column and then use these controls to kind of uh, make them fit up an, uh, an even amount of space. And so you could say that this one is the price um, and then add a price. And then we'll move this over so that our button still lines up. So you can add columns in that manner. Um, for example, if you wanted your large text block and image up here, um, what you could do is go ahead and, and clone this column. And so now we've got two equal columns. Um, delete this paragraph and, and add your um, image in here, for example. So I'll just go ahead and delete that and add an image here. So I'll just grab any image here and go ahead and insert that. And he landed down here instead of over here, but that's okay. We'll bring him back to where he's supposed to be, make the image a little larger. And then you can put your large block of text that you mentioned over here. Um, and so that's one way that you can go about it. Um, if you're having trouble finding something that even comes close to what you're looking for, you can also um, create a block from scratch. So I'll go ahead and just delete the one that I have here. Um, so up here in the block components is where you'll find your more primitive uh, types of layouts and things like that. So uh, for example, if I was creating something like you've described, I might say go for something like this where it has one uh, big column on the left and then three smaller rows to the right of that. And so once you've added that, you can, um, you can go ahead and um, modify this to your needs. So let's say we want it to be more like, a, you know, say a, a one to three ratio here. Um, you can do that and then you can go ahead and keep um, expanding this by cloning the rows and things like that. And so if you can come up with a, a layout like that, that kind of matches what you need, that's another way to accomplish it. Um, even in here, you can, you can still do things like um, insert a new uh, shape and things like that. So you can, you can kind of design how it looks by doing this. Um, and so uh, the answer to your question, without, without having a, a really well-defined goal in mind ahead of time, um, it's kind of a matter of playing around. Um, I definitely recommend trying to come up with your basic layout first. So um, decide how you want it to be arranged, and then you can add and, and modify columns and rows to fit your vision. Um, last thing I wanted to point out, you mentioned that you wanted a combo box with your different classes. Um, by combo box, I'm assuming that you mean like a drop-down selector. Um, so that's not actually going to be a part of building your page. That's going to be your forms. So Bold Grid installations all come pre-installed with a plugin called WeForms. And in WeForms, you can actually 
there's a bunch of pre pre-designed forms in here so for yours you might want to start with um, the event registration form for example um, and you can add um, different fields to this form for example a, a drop down so let's say we want to have a drop down up here that you can then um, set your different class labels in here so you can add all your different classes and then for example if you wanted them to have prices associated with them you can set values as well um, and so that way we forms will give you a lot more control over over that small chunk um, and once you've got it all saved you can just use this copy short code and go back to your page and from here you can insert that short code into any um, block that you want so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this put in one of those layouts that we were using and then I will go ahead and just take out everything in this and I'll paste in that short code and that way you'll be able to actually um, insert smaller forms into areas of your layout with drop down boxes and things like that um, so I hope that answers your questions, Neil. Um, beyond um, those measures, I, I definitely recommend starting out with some kind of a layout plan so that you can work towards a goal. Um, and that way you'll be able to design your own custom blocks. And once you have it looking the way that you like, you can go down here and save your block and say that this is my class list block. And from there, once it's saved, you'll always be able to access it from the add block form and it'll be in your block library section. So here's that block that I set up. You can see the form is in here. Um, so that's how you do that, Neil. Um, if you have uh, any more specific questions on how to make your custom block, let us know and we'll be happy to help. So thanks, Neil.